Hello, my lovely friends. This is Tuesday, and I have another layout for you for my empty box series. So I'm pretty excited about it. It is a really cute layout. It's some more of the crafting out loud vellum and labels that I used for the background and if you saw the Crafting Out Loud at the Beach collection that I had worked with before, then uh, you know how much I really love this collection. I think it's so, so very pretty, especially on vellum. And I also use some of the labels that came in the kit. You can find that kit over at the Facebook group, Crafting Out Loud. And... Natalie will be more than happy to um, give you information on how you can purchase it. But most of the other products are from the empty box. And so technically I'm considering this an empty box 2 series um, layout. So I just took some white smooth cardstock from my background. That comes from close to my heart. And these photos are screenshots from my daughter London talking to me about um, how much she loves me and how she thinks I'm a good mom and so it's kind of her and I speaking back and forth and I just think that these are important conversations to record and if you've been following me for a little bit you probably know that I do like to take screenshots and scrapbook about them because, you know, later on you'll look down the road and, um, or you'll look back on the road <laughs> well-traveled and be able to see what your children or your family members were thinking if you do this. So technology at its finest, it allows us not only to text back and forth and have these conversations, but also to screenshot them and be able to preserve them as memories. So I definitely take advantage of that. Now, the puffy stickers that I used were from Bella Boulevard, and they were called Make Your Mark. Those are several years old, and they are from the empty box. The tags, um, well, one of the tags was from the At the Beach, Beach collection from Crafting Out Loud. The other one... Or the actually the other two are from the Pink Fresh Life Noted Ephemera tags, and I think there's even uh, a little paper in there that's from that collection, and that was from the empty box. So here I am adding those layers back after I figured out exactly where I wanted placement, and look at how beautiful that vellum is against the white, just absolutely gorgeous. The 3x4 is also from that same collection, and I just added it to add another element. You're not going to see a lot of this. I'm going to cover some of it up with some additional um, chipboard from Maggie Holmes, but I just think it adds that extra little soft background that I really, really like. So... I love pastels, I love yellows, I love pinks. The blue is just kind of an added bonus and it's so soft and dreamy when you print it on vellum that it just makes me happy. <laughs> so my life has been super busy, just to fill you in a little bit. Um, we still have baby Ella and her mama here and so... Um, they are getting a new apartment in August and should be headed there. Um, hopefully, they're finding a place close by, and I think that is the boyfriend's intention. I'm pretty sure they decided that being close to me was the best avenue as opposed to being all the way in Louisville, which is about a 30 to 35-minute drive from me, which... You know, I really don't want to do in Dallas traffic anymore. <laughs> we have grown exponentially, and the traffic here has gotten out of control. And so if they want Mama's help, they're going to move closer to Mama. So that is the plan currently. But Ella is so big and strong, and she is about six weeks old. And 
is already two pounds heavier and an inch longer and she's smiling and she loves, loves, loves to eat and she's a good sleeper and she's very good about telling you what she wants when she wants it and yeah, she's a great baby so it's been quite the experience here with baby Ella. You may hear her in the background currently. She just decided to cry, which means she wants something or needs something. Her biggest thing is she doesn't like to have a wet diaper, so that might, that sounds kind of like a distressed wet diaper conversation she's having with her parents right now. <laughs> but, um, ooh, you should really be able to hear her now. That's how mad she gets. Oh, yep, I just heard, um, I just heard JD say it's, it's just a wet diaper. <laughs> so, she gets very upset about that, I'm not sure. Um, her mother did not like me to change her diaper, and Ella does not like to have a wet diaper, so, you know, they'll figure it out. She's an easy baby, so they've got it made. I'm just trying to figure out placement here with these Maggie Holmes chipboard alphas that I had. Um, I really wanted to use them. I knew I wanted them on this page, but I could not figure out placement for them. But I do end up moving them down to the bottom to add a little more balance to the page. And I think it looks really good at the bottom. I'm also reaching in for the Pink Fresh Studio Life Noted Alphas, and I am going to make my title with those alphas and this chipboard, and it is going to be Now Moments. And I thought that was a good title. I'm not that great at titles, so I really like that one, and I think the colors match perfectly. So, And you're going to see me use quite a bit of that Maggie Holmes chipboard that was in the empty box. So I'm probably digging through, oh, I am digging through some other alphas. I couldn't decide which alphas to use, but I end up going back to those Pink Fresh Studio alphas in yellow. And they're a little bit wider font than the ones from Maggie Holmes. So I wanted something that was a little bit different in size. That's kind of why I was looking at these smaller alphas from Pink Fresh, but I don't end up going with them. I don't like them as much. So I'm going to go back to the yellow ones. And when you're limited on um, alphas in a collection, it's always good to, when you have a small title or a small word that you need to use, it's perfect to use up some of that leftover sticker elements. So... Um, now is not a very big word, so that worked out really, really well because I'm, I'm running low on those. And so, what else is going on in my life? Ah, so London started college. She is, well, it's, it's kind of college. It's um, x-ray technician school, so it's only twice a week for eight hours a day, but it will get her certified as an x-ray technician in a short period of time. And she's also thinking of going on to get her certified nursing assistant. I believe that's what it's called. CNA? Maybe it's CMA, which could be certified medical assistant, but at least it's a start. Um, she's 19, and I've got a college fund set aside for her so this is an easy way for her to get started and she seems very very enthusiastic about it which is a blessing because she's got a little one to think of now and she wasn't really that interested in college before and now that she is excited about this I am excited for her and hopefully it will grow into a bigger degree that um, can help take her care of her and baby Ella. She just stepped into the room, so hello. Hello, <laughs> followers and YouTube subscribers. Olivers. Followers, I guess. Followers. Subbies. Yeah, subbies. Yeah. So she just came in with the baby and was staring at me, so I knew she wanted to say hello. <laughs> So, 
Uh, she's trying to calm baby Ella down right now. But you can see I pulled in a few more of these chipboard elements. I like the little birds. I think it looks very sweet. And the pencil works perfectly on this layout because it is text. And so it is um, reflective of the written word, I guess, is the words I'm looking for. And I just kind of like that cup with the leaves and the little floral element to it. I think that's just adorable. And that is also from that chipboard collection as well as the heart and the little pink diagonal colored chipboard circle. There's also that, that pink and yellow one. I think they, they balance with the colors very, very well on this layout. So here I'm bringing in some of the cut apart labels that were printed off from the Crafting Out Loud. One says the best things in life are free and one says look at this. I'll also have a little one tucked to the right side that says happy and the tag up at the top says currently loving. So super super easy labels to use. So I think I'm going to finish this up with a little bit of a notch out of the upper left hand corner and some more of that Crafting Out Loud collection paper as a backing just to tie in the um, layered papers behind the photos. And I'm also going to use a little bit of Shimmers in Glorious Day in order to add some sprinkles and it's just a lovely gold color that kind of finishes up the layout. The The tag that says currently loving has a little bit of gold in it so that ties that in very very well. I think that's actually one of the little branding strips or washi strips that's in the collection. It's not even a part of the paper. It's actually one of the little washi strips so just a perfect amount to go behind that paper um other news uh which which uh i know what i was going to share so at the end of this year we do have some exciting things going on at the end of this year it looks like we're going to go to dubai for alan's company trip and so we will be there for five days and tomorrow we go to our wedding venue to look over the contract and put down the deposit so it looks like we will be getting married in May of next year. Granted, I have to beat the other couple to the punch. They're trying to get the same date as we are, but that's okay if we have, <clears throat> have to push back the date because we're not in a big hurry, but that's it. I just thought I'd update you and share a video with you, and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it inspires you, and if you like it, give it a thumbs up, and I'm going to go check on baby Ella. Ta-ta for now. Bye.